My name is Stefano Battiston. I'm uh, working on complex financial and economic uh, network in uh, the chair systems design in ETH Zurich. I think that in the last few decades, um, economy has become more interconnected for a number of reasons, and uh, mainly uh, because of the liberalization of capital flows. So today it's much easier for a company to invest in a country uh, far away. Uh, but of course it's also very easy to withdraw the money. For example, there is the network of uh, directors and board of directors. So two companies are connected if they share a, a common uh, member in the board of directors. Um, there are companies that are connected because of ownership ties. Company owns certain number of shares in another company. There are uh, companies can be connected by alliances, um, and they can also be connected by the fact that a company is lending money to another company. So all of these uh, structures can be naturally described as networks. Ideally, you would like to know um, for this project how much each bank is exposed to, it, to each other bank. But this is very confidential information, very strateg strategically valuable, and so very difficult to get. So, so far what we were able to collect, uh, well, first of all, is the data about uh, um, loans that were granted by the uh, Federal Reserve in the United States to a number of institutions during the uh, time span of the crisis. Uh, this has the structure of a star because of the, the Fed is in the center. Um, we were also able to estimate some of the dependencies between institutions starting from the time series of uh, credit default swaps, which are financial instruments which reflect the probability of default of uh, uh, single institutions. A specific uh, character of this project, being uh, financed by uh, an ICT funding agency, is to try and see what relations there are between the world of the information technology and the world of finance. So, in general, there is the question um, whether uh, what happens on the web only reflects what's happened in the finance, or whether there is a cyclic uh, loop. So to what extent uh, the, what happens on the web may anticipate what happens on the, in the world of finance. Let's look at a country like uh, Italy, who um, has been suffered, has suffering a um, decreasing rating successively in the last uh, times. Uh, we see that when you have a first uh, uh, decrease of rating, it's more likely to have another one next. Why? Because um, investors are then running away and your life gets harder. This is one aspect. Another aspect, so this aspect is a positive feedback loop that amplifies an initial shock. It is a second element which has to deal with networks. So Italy is connected then to other countries and what happens in Italy has consequences for uh, neighboring countries or countries who are exposed to the debt of Italy. And so network effects and the structure of networks is the other element that was missing in the, in the previous models. As for the data analysis, um, I think that one of the major advances of the first year was that we were able to um, find empirically, to show empirically, the presence of this uh, positive feedback, uh, this amplification, so that um, uh, when a firm is in trouble, it's more likely to be in trouble also in the future. And this was seen in the data of the credit default swaps 
which are financial instruments that reflect the probability of default of uh, individual institutions. FOC has an ambitious aim, which is to provide a platform, at least a proof of concept, um, for policymakers. This would work as a sort of a cockpit where, uh, from which you can monitor systemic risks. So if you fly, you would like to know uh, the height and the speed of the, of the plane, of course. And similarly, for a policymaker, it's important to know um, the fragility of the, of the financial institutions, how much they are connected, and um, uh, what is the risk that there is a systemic default. Um, obviously, this is a very difficult and challenging task. Uh, and we are thus aiming at combining a number of indicators uh, in order to provide uh, uh, scenarios, essentially, um, and uh, what could be done in the um, in the case one of these scenarios is, uh, is, uh, is presenting itself.